Headlines of this bulletin, Gunter Senior organized many meaningful activities to celebrate the 40th Vietnamese Teachers Day. In preparation for the traditional Tet Holidays 2023, the Urban Work Management Chamber of Minh Kiều Urban Street has just begun carrying out a parade in Hoàng Văn Thổ Park. Hello and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continuous and Top News today. On November 20th morning, Kanto University of Technology organized a gathering in celebration of the 40th Vietnamese Teachers Day and the 10th Building and Growing Celebration. Coming to attend the event were prominent member Kam Stanley Vice Chairman of Kanto City People's Committee Yung Tung Hing, leaders of the People Authority Party's office block, department centers of the city, former leaders of the university through various periods, and the home staff of the university. Delegates recalled the nice traditions of the Vietnamese Teachers Day and the process of founding and growing of the university. During 10 years of founding and developing, in this good year, Kanto University of Technology opens 22 tertiary disciplines and one master discipline for nearly 5,000 students. Within the framework of the ceremony, the staff of the university glorify teachers for their contributions to the educational cause. On this occasion, excellent teachers of the university were presented medal certificates by the city and Vietnam Labor Confederation. Also on November 20th, Trần Quốc Toán Primary School held the gathering to celebrate the 40th Vietnamese Teachers Day. Leaders of Ninh Kiều Urban Street Party Committee and People's Committee, notorious teachers, managers of Trần Quốc Toán Primary School through various periods and the home staff of the school attended the gathering. At the gathering, delegates recalled the traditions, history of the Vietnamese Teachers Day, revealed the achievements and contributions of the school staff to building and developing the nation. On this occasion, permanent member of Camp Secretary of Ninh Kiều Urban Street Party Committee Nguyễn Tiền Phong presented 20 scholarships to needy students of Trần Quốc Toán Primary School. Each scholarship is valued at 500,000 Việt Nam Đồng. On November 19th evening, Phạm Ngọc Thạch College in Kanto University also held the gathering in celebration of the 40th Vietnamese Teachers Day, November 20th, 1982, November 20th, 2022. At the gathering, the school also proclaimed the decision and presented the medal certificates from Kanto City People's Committee to individuals who had good achievements in teaching. Phong Văn Trị High School in Phong Ninh Sabah Bay Street has also organized a gathering to celebrate the Vietnamese Teachers Day. In the meantime, leaders of Phong Ninh Sabah Bay Street also came to attend the gathering to celebrate the Vietnamese Teachers Day at Yai Sung High School in Phong Ninh Sabah Bay Street. Vĩnh Thanh Sabah Bay Street has organized the 40th Vietnamese Teachers Day. In the past years, the contingent of teachers and educational managers of Vĩnh Thanh Sabah Bay Street have inherited and promoted nice traditions of the teaching career, have always been proactive and creative to improve educational quality, contributing to raising the educational quality of the Sabah Bay Street. With outstanding results recorded in 2021-2022 school year, 37 individuals in the educational center of Vinh Thanh Sabah Bay Street were presented the merit certificates by the government. Many teams were offered the merit certificates by the Education Training Ministry, merit certificates and emulation flag by the chairman of the Municipal People's Committee. Under the news, the project of building a traffic road and a park along Kailun Canal lasting from Ninh Kiều Working Bridge to the Working Bridge near Hoa Sư Restaurant in Cái Khí Vụt, Ninh Kiều Upper Street, Kanto City, has been constructed since 2020. However, due to the floor clearance obstacles, it was suspended and had just been resumed. The project covers a total area of nearly 13,000 square meters, in which a park is designed for picnic activities near Ninh Bridge and a square flower garden and at night lighting system. A traffic road alone is the length of 325 meters that will be used for parking. The total cost of the project is 24 billion Vietnam dong. The construction unit has so far completed nearly 75% of the work and is striving to complete the project by December to tightly serve activities during the New Year holidays, especially the Lantern Festival of Ninh Kiều Upper District. 
In preparation for the traditional Tet Holidays 2023, the Urban Work Management Chamber of Ninh Kiều Urban District teachers began carrying out upgrading Hoàng Văn Thổ Park. Located on Hoàng Văn Thổ Street, Hoàng Văn Thổ Park, the station running from Nhị Kiều Bridge to Soviet Nathan Bridge has degraded for many years and left bad impacts on the urban beauty and daily life of dwellers living around the park. The project has four stations, including the building of the material base of the park, planting green trees, assembling lights, and building a wall for tourism boards. The total cost of the project is nearly 7 billion Vietnam dong you made from the budget. It will be finished in December this year. Kentucky City's Electricity Company has just organized the customer appreciating gathering in 2022 in Bentui or Montelai areas. In 10 months of 2022, Kentucky City's Electricity Company conducted 50 construction investment projects with more than 142 billion Vietnam dong. Of the figure, more than 23 billion Vietnam dong were invested in Bần Thủy or Mông Thới Lai. Besides, regional electricity branches also proposed and combined with the company to build a power network to ensure the supply of power for production and consumption. Currently, in Kansas City, the rate of customers using customer care services stands at nearly 70%. The gathering is also a chance for Kentucky Electricity Company to solicit customer feedbacks to gradually improve service quality and satisfy customers' demand. Ladies and gentlemen, Fongdin District is the first destination that comes to people's mind when they think of ecotourism because it is the most prominent locality in Kanta City for developing this type of tourism. With its signature advantage in recent years, luxury tourism in an eco-friendly direction is thriving, creating a new highlight for the local tourism industry as well as a new experience for domestic and international visitors. This luxury resort is located in Nyongi Common in Fongding District. Although there is a salt water swimming pool and a system of bungalows and villas designed in a very luxurious Indo-Chinese architecture and very well equipped, the most impressive thing about the resort is that it was built in harmony with nature. This makes visitors feel relaxed as if they are living in a peaceful space in the heart of a dynamic and developing city. The space and the atmosphere here is really comfortable. The price of the room is affordable for people of the southwestern region. The advantage of the Meiko Delta is the fruits. We will rely on that to develop in an eco-tourism direction to meet customers' demands, thereby increasing our popularity. Phong Dinh currently has 65 tourist attractions, with 36 of them being eco-tourism models. Stemming from the specific potentials and advantages of the locality, in recent years, eco-tourism in the district has been developing quite strongly, creating more highlights for the district's and the city's tourism industry. At the same time, it provides more exciting experiences for visitors to Gần Thơ. River tours in combination with orchard tours and ecotourism associated with lake sewer tourism have have created a distinctive feature for the district tourism industry. Tourists come to from the district not only for entertainment but also to relax and learn about local people. According to statistics, from being welcomed and served approximately 1,340,000 visitors in 2022, representing a 115% increase over the previous year. Tourism revenue reached 445 billion Vietnam dong, up 136% over the same period. In particular, the resort tourism model has made an important contribution to the overall development of the district's tourism ministry over the past few years.
d e e p a t e d weather forecast ต้องสำหรับ the this edition of continue s t e p you want to watch again in this bulletin please log on to our website g e n t e r t v v n and our thanks for being with us goodbye and see you next time Thank you.